ओके फ्रेंड्स लेट्स कंटिन्यू अवर ई कॉमर्स साइट सीरीज वी वर हेयर वी वर ट्राइंग टू फेच अवर प्रोडक्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू अवर प्राइस रेंज इफ आई क्लिक मे देन वी गोट ए रिजल्ट इन एरे नाउ वी हैव टू डिस्प्ले इन साइड ऑफ दिस प्रोडक्ट्स वी विल डिस्प्ले अवर दिस प्रोडक्ट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू अवर दिस प्राइस रेंज and this default products will be gone okay so let's continue ah one more thing today i will uh, do one more thing is i don't need this click me button i will display data just changing this okay mm, our in controller we are just printing our error result according to our this product range and this type of data coming from my sql table okay and just is done to ajax and we are checking ajax requests uh, this is optional you can use this and you can use if you don't need you uh, don't don't want you just remove this but if you want to use you can use this start and end also okay for now let me finish this logic and in where shop dot blade we have a script code in our header and some code in our button click coding in our footer okay for remove our button and complete functionality with only this cursor slider just cut this our ajax code i will comment this for now okay and just go to your slide variable okay let's copy here okay your error will be blank because we are working on same page okay okay and in where we have a button we don't need button uh for now i am just commenting it i can use this html writing nice if i refresh must we change this and data will be show yeah it's working next we will try to display our actual product according to our price range for this where we are choosing uh, now forget our footer script okay you can delete it go to head we have all data in a fun single function so here we are making a update id and we are display here in our html to replace my data in a new div you can check for this my last video uh, for now we will change this just delete it we don't need here we need here our update div where all our content is covering this is our feature atom container okay we are updating here and next we need a new view just for uh, our displaying product we are not uh, doing in our any logically just need a duplicate product listing page okay for this 
we can choose any name if i have a sh before shop dot blade let me name it products blade dot php that's nice okay uh, remove this we need html code However, for this just copy your for loop okay you need for loop we need our dynamic products just paste okay just close your products dot blade dot php your work is finished with that page okay we have a container id changing data now it will display our data into our feature atom if i click here it will display and product is gone okay and we need to display according to our this data if i click on sh simply shop it will displaying default products no problem just click change any value we are displaying our product according to our price range okay and next we need to display our products.php and changing data from our ajax that's very simple just remove return copy this line we are calling our view but this time not shop our new page name products is response go to here uh, just you can comment our products which are we are displaying in json data okay just refresh if i click it will display product according to our price range. okay it's changing uh, let me decrease number of data is now 60 to 65 60 63 60 and 62 okay uh, let me do one more thing in here we can use increasing decreasing sorting price uh, like a, our pro price Let me check it's working or not just refresh sorry no product found i think i is wrong in my query you can use uh, your own logic i just doing uh, my uh, let me change this any I think I am writing wrong query for this. Let me check on Laravel. Uh, sorry, it's order by. Oh my gosh. Order by. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can do decreasing. For first product must be our costly price. Let's go to 55. Uh, decrease number of product to see 63 to 65. It's only one product, no problem. Yeah, you can now see 63, 62, 60s, and 60. Uh, that's, I think, I have a moisty pricing problem uh, you can edit price because i, I use faker library uh, that's problem i'm sure this will be not uh, issue will be on your side our price range is working now we will make this text box to more look like this type of okay 
for this go to shop and here our product now let me show you my designing skills i am sure you will like that also i am using inline style you can choose in style sheet but i am doing here just for teaching you okay uh, for this uh, border will be your pixel okay and uh, we need read only for this our text box we are working on a single text box we will copy to our next one okay this look like good but we need more design you can do your own design i am just trying my okay we need a font weight bold okay and color will be i like green and just copy the style paste for next our text box with read only function okay now refresh let me see if we get green bold color if i change it will be changed our product is now dynamically you can change your logic according to this greater than less than any zoot but things okay our logic is now working we are trying to show this logic and from last time it's now our max price is 73 and we are showing from 72 71 71 it 68 63 because we are using decreasing if i use here increase it will be show our less number of product price costly will be our max price is 65 this name let me see our price range where is 62 64 uh, sorry 52 54 55 58 uh, this product have problem uh, i think i was need to delete it but i'm sure you will not found this in this series 60 60 62 63 our max is 63 and our price range is 65 we don't have i think 65 price so guys here you've got how to pass ages request and how to make a range slider from jqj ui user interface without refreshing page and you got your actual data according to your price range you can change this logics according to your requirements and you can bind any other where condition left joined with any other database tables okay for now uh, i am finishing this video here i recommend please check my second series also uh, that is laravel 5.4 on social networking site you will be learn more new logics i am sure and uh, don't worry we will continue this series and next i will try to make a categories and any more suggestion or welcomes please suggest me what you want in e-commerce site more we will try to play with it
okay for now please give your feedback in comment box thank you guys take care